Welcome back to AMD Tution. In this video, we are going over the three worst answered questions in the 2022 GCSE Physics Higher Paper 1. And we will be going through a question which could easily be repeated on your paper as it was so unfairly presented that they removed it from the entire paper after it was sat. And this is a series of these videos. We've already done the biology and chemistry, but we're going to be going through all the different papers and also different types of exam questions. So if you don't want to be the student who misses out on these marks, which are very preventable by just watching these videos, then make sure to subscribe now and watch the rest of our videos. The first question that was poorly answered on this paper was question 5.4. And only 10% of students got all the marks for this question, leaving 90% getting it completely incorrect or only gaining partial marks. The question reads, a negatively charged rod is held near an earth conductor. Explain why a spark jumps between the negatively charged rod and the earth conductor. Pause it here and try and have a go and see if you get this mark. The first mark was for saying that there was a large potential difference between the two objects. And the second mark was for saying that electrons or the negative charges move through the air. And the third mark was for saying that this charge movement goes from the rod to the conductor. The next poorly answered question was question 8.5. 7% of students scored two marks for this and 3% of students scored one mark, leaving 90% of students getting zero for this question. And for context, I'll leave the experiment on the screen here that the question is talking about. So feel free to pause it here, have a go and see if you're in the top 7% of students that got the four marks for this question. The question states that some of the water evaporated before its temperature reached 100 degrees Celsius. Explain how this affected the student's value for the specific latent heat of vaporization of water. For the first mark, you should have put the measured change in mass is too high for the energy supplied. And for the second mark, you go on to explain that this means that the student's value of L is too low. And the second mark is conditional of the first mark. So you can't just put the second mark without the first mark. You need the first mark first in order to be able to achieve the second mark. And the next question that was poorly answered is question 11. And as you can imagine, this is the final question on the paper. And it's directly labeled by the examiner's report as a high demand question. So we can assume that this is a probably a grade seven to nine question. For part one, you needed to draw the circuit symbol for an LED in the box. And this is the symbol that you needed to draw. The second part asks, why do hair straighteners not turn on when only switch S2 is closed? And this is because that there is a gap in the circuit, or you could have also said that S1 needs to be closed to complete the circuit, or even S1 needs to be closed to turn on the hair straighteners. Part three is a calculation question. So I'll let you pause it right here. Have a read of the question so you can practice interpreting it. And let's go through the answer. The first mark is for converting the 3.6 kilojoules into joules, which is 3,600 joules. The second mark is for identifying the equation that you need to use and that it means that 3,600 equals 120 times T. Third mark is for rearranging this to get T equals to 3,600 divided by 120. Number four, the easiest mark, pop that into your calculator and you should get 30 seconds. And for the final part of this question, part four, it says that switch S2 and switch S3 are then closed at the same time. Explain what happens to the power output of the power supply. Mark one is for saying the total resistance of the circuit decreases. Mark two is for explaining that this means that the current increases. And the third mark is for explaining that this means that there is an increase in the power output. And I'm sure that you've been waiting to find out which question was unfairly presented to the students. And this was the entirety of question 11. So the examiner's report states that due to incorrect advanced information guidance being issued for this question and to avoid students being disadvantaged, question 11 was discounted and all students were avoided full marks. So this makes me think if this question wasn't even counted for that paper, do they have a chance to re-implement this into a future paper and actually do it correctly? So it might be a question that you wanna make a note of as a variation of this question could easily come up. Let me know in the comments which question you found the hardest and if you disagree that these aren't the questions that are the hardest on the paper, then also let me know. We have made videos from other papers of questions we think that may come up and have also been poorly answered. So those videos will come out in the coming week. So make sure you're already subscribed so you don't miss out on any of that. If you'd like to book a free one-to-one -one taster lesson with our tutors, then the link is in the video description and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.